Thank you, Todd. Well, if you're looking for something different to do with your family over the winter break, our guests tonight are Jennifer Hillman and her husband, Bill McKeever. They are co-authors of this book, Secret Places of Western New York, 25 Scenic Heights. Uh, hikes, that is. I want to thank you both for being here. I know the answer to this question, but I want to hear what you say, and that is, is Western New York a good place to hike? It's a fantastic place to hike. It's one of the best places to hike. And why is that? Well, we have so much natural areas out here, a lot of protected land, a lot of park land, uh, county level, state level. Um, it's just a beautiful region of the state, and there's plenty of areas where you can go out and, and connect with nature. Yeah, I know you're a real environmentalist. Uh, you really think about this. At this time of year, normally we would have snow on the ground and people would think, oh, this is not a good time to hike. But why is winter a good time to hike? Oh, winter is like one of the better times to hike. It's actually quieter on the trails, so you get more of a peaceful, natural experience when you're outside and you can connect with nature on a deeper level. And this time of year, you have the choice to go hiking, and if there is snow, you could go snowshoeing, you could go cross-country skiing. There's so many choices that we have in this beautiful area. Now, people yeah. say, really, this is the way to enjoy yeah. winter, isn't it? Give me an example of, uh, of uh, one of the hikes that's in this book mm -hmm. uh, for the winter. One of our favorites that we uh, go to at least once a winter is Rhinestein Woods in Chictawaga. So what's really beautiful about that is there's many trails that you can choose from. They're all easy, family-friendly trails, all and level. They're open in the wintertime, right? Yes, yes. So you can hike on them, you can snowshoe, and they actually have snowshoes available at their nature center to rent out to people so you don't have to have your own snowshoes and Good. you can cross country ski there and the trails are all flat and level they're perfect for beginners right how about another one well i think another one that is fun to go to is uh went beach uh county park uh you've got uh, the the beach area is a whole different experience in the in the winter time but there's a trail system there and a boardwalk area and it brings you into a a wooded wetland area and it's just kind of a it's a whole different experience and it's it's very accessible and flat you know i wondered about that it's not just you walking out somewhere there are trails to follow mm -hmm. and, and bridges and everything else that will take you along the way there there's infrastructure <laughs> which which sounds good. funny out that's in the good. woods. But, um, you know. I want you to tell me about something that uh, has almost a mythical quality to it, and we usually have it on the news when it happens, and that's the volcanoes ah, yes. along the lake. Tell me about that. All right, so in January, February, when the, when the uh, lake starts to crust over, you'll start to see ice volcanoes along the shores of Lake Erie. And it's a really cool experience because they'll, they'll just mound straight up just like, just like a volcano. And you can, get a, you can get really close to them. And you look straight down in the middle of the hole and it's, you know, it's, it's just this really cool experience. We always get great pictures of them. Yeah. And they're odd looking and mm -hmm. unusual and uh, you know really something you can't see anywhere else I think in most of the country yes yeah. and and they're unpredictable you don't know when they're going to come uh, they're ephemeral they don't last forever um, but they're 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 very surreal and people are very surprised to find out we we have volcanoes uh, in the region um, I'm thinking about how strenuous these hikes are uh, you have you know many different choices in here we have people watching and uh, you know everything from you know the youngest to the eldest mm -hmm. who might be out on a family hike how strenuous are these they're all easy to moderate hikes and we really put a focus on family friendly hikes and there's a um, you can search for the hikes and you can look for hikes that are wheeled friendly as well so anybody so who you has, mark them in here yes now. they're okay. all marked in there so okay our, anyone will find a hike that's suitable for them Finally, um, I'm interested in the fact that the title of your book is Secret Places. What, yes. Why are they secret? Ah. Well, I would say that they're, they're not truly secret. They're certainly not secret anymore now that they're published. And, and many of them... <laughs> we just told everybody, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> but there are, there are a lot of sites that tend to fly under the radar for the general public. And so that's sort of the mission with the book is to bring 
places that aren't necessarily as well known to the attention of folks and, and get them connected with to it. To reveal them. Okay, um, wonderful book, wonderful ideas in here. How can people acquire this book? Well, they can get the book uh, at our own website. Uh, we, sell, we have autographed copies that we send out, um, and that's at secretplacesofwny.com. But the, the book is available at all the local uh, book retailers like Barnes & Noble and uh, local booksellers uh, throughout the region. Secret Places of Western New York, 25 Scenic Heights. We thank you both for uh, sharing that with us. This is something to do over your winter break. And very important that you know the weather before you go out on your hike. So we'll check in with Todd Santos when we come back.